It's not their gams news. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and good news for those of you who have decided not to buy the Nintendo Switch in March, and instead to buy Horizon Zero Dawn, or those of you who are picking you up along with the Switch. There's actually been some leaks about it, and well, I've got some information for you. And that information is, there will be no microtransactions. I can, it's confirmed, I got an email from someone at Guerrilla Games saying this, that there will be no microtransactions, and I'll put that on in a little bit, but let me just explain how I got to this information, how I got it, and how I ended up asking about it. Firstly, I went on the PlayStation Marketplace, and I noticed in the Coming Soon section there was a Digital Definitive Edition, and there was a number of things listed as coming with the Digital Definitive Edition, uh, mods, packs of stuff that can be sold, packs of stuff that can be crafted into ammo and weapons, it seemed like. Well, traps, I think it was. And I got to thinking, considering what we've seen with Mankind Divided recently, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, where there was microtransactions for the upgrade stuff in there, I was starting to worry about Horizon Zero Dawn, so I went on the Guerrilla Games website, I sent them a message asking, is this an indication that there's going to be microtransactions? And I got back an email saying they can confirm there will be no microtransactions. That's pretty conclusive from them. Will... It hold true? I hope so. I can't guarantee it will be true. I can say that they have told me it's going to be true. And this news is actually quite exciting because there's been an announcement that there's not going to be any story DLC along with it. And the only DLC will be an arena of some kind down the line. This is what's been leaked on 4chan. It may not be accurate. And that's actually quite exciting, the idea that this is a game that's just coming out, just as is. You buy the game, you get the game. And if you want the DLC, sure, it's not going to be a case of there's a, there's not actually a season pass been announced yet for it. Nothing in the Digital Definitive Edition looks like a season pass. And there's no season pass listed as coming up. So, this is really quite encouraging. This is a AAA game, high quality, from quite a well-known studio, and they're going to release the game as the game. And they're not going to try and get too much extra out of people. Will the outfits, the pre-order exclusive outfits, pro possibly be sold later? Yes, possibly that might actually happen. But for the time being, there's... No microtransactions. That's actually quite good. And no planned season pass. So there's, n you're getting the game. It's going to be quite good by the sound of it. It's going to be quite a good deal, hopefully. And if all the rumours of the 20 to 40 hour playtime are good, that's going to be quite a decent game on its own. So I think it's quite encouraging to see a AAA developer actually just go, no, we're not doing a season pass, we don't want a season pass, and no, we don't want, want microtransactions. They haven't announced a season pass yet, it may still be announced, but the no microtransactions thing, I think, is a really good step in the right direction. It could easily have been done, we've seen it done with Dead Space, we've seen it done by Ubisoft with Assassin's Creed, we've seen it done in Deus Ex, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and it's been creeping into games, and to be honest, to see the next big, I consider it quite a big game, just set, and the developers turn around and say, no, we are not doing this, we are not going to put in microtransactions, I think it's quite encouraging, and it's quite clear from the idea of the Digital Definitive Edition that they are trying to 
because Sony's the publisher, they are going to try and push the whole digital distribution thing f- through Sony and try and boost that a bit. But I think it's actually quite good. I mean, yes, you can argue the pre-order exclusive stuff isn't that isn't great because it's encouraging pre-orders, but for them to actually, I mean, I'm a no one, and for them to actually answer my question and say, yeah, there will be no microtransaction in game. I think that's quite encouraging, and I think that's quite open of them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, those of you who listened. If you like it, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do try and put out stuff every so often. I know I'm not the most prolific content creator out there. Leave a like, the help. Comment if you want. And... If you're watching this in the Destructoid C blogs, hello C blogs, and you should find all the pictures that I've been displaying in this video down in the blog below. Enjoy. The latest title, Clash Royale, appearing listed on the Kindle store.